what's happened to the oceans is because there's more CO2 in the atmosphere and the oceans absorb a lot of it, some of that CO2 becomes carbonic acid and it literally makes the oceans 30% more acid than they were in pre-industrial times. So why should that matter beyond the sort of shocking notion that we could change the basic chemistry and physics of two-thirds of the planet without even noticing? Uh, it's because there are tens of thousands of species which build their skeletons out of, out of calcium carbonate and that depends on an equilibrium that is both temperature uh, and pH dependent. So the colder and more acid the water, the harder it is uh, for these organisms to literally build their own skeletons and shells. Well, you interfere with that and you inter interfere with the basic food chains of the ocean. Uh, and you know, there are tiny little organisms that are, exist in untold numbers at the base of food chains uh, that use calcium carbonate. Uh, for forming their shells and they literally will get to a point where their shells could go into solution while they're still alive. So it's just sort of pulling the rug out from under marine food chains. Science has already picked up effects just where you might expect it in the colder waters like in the North Atlantic and off, off of Alaska. Uh, you see damaged, damaged uh, uh, sea butterflies and things which are tiny little organisms but they are the base of those food chains. It's just an indication that there are, there are surprises to come uh, as all this plays out.